Hi traders, May Barak from Trader.com here. I'm about to show you a recap of my trading session today. I'm about to go long Nvidia over 218. Nice technical formation as you can see here. It tried to move lower, it failed, it looks like it's about to move higher. So I'm about to click the button 4,000 shares long, clicking now I'm long Nvidia. My stop loss, let's start with the stop loss, was just under 217, which means I'm risking approximately one point. Why is that? First, you can see that we have some support over here. And second, you can see that uh, it is a whole number. So the, the whole number issue is very, very important. 217 is a whole number. You've got normally lots of buyers at whole numbers that should protect me from uh, coming down under 217. And anyway, that's my stop one point. Question is, what is my target? Well, the high of the day, as you can see here, is uh, 218.60. I expect that would not be a problem, but my concern is not that number. My concern is what comes next right here, 219.50 that area over here. That area over here is very, very important. And that's really the topic of our discussion today. The stocks keep moving higher. You can see here my p and I'm just over $1,000 right now. But let's keep a discussion about my target price. First, you notice that my stop loss is under 217. So I'm risking approximately one point. Question is, what is my target? Well, it has to be more than one point. Because normally, if you want to become a successful trader, you got to have at least one to one risk reward. What is your risk, risk reward? Let's discuss this a little bit later. So it has to be over one point. And you, you, you can notice here that my target, in fact, is 219.50 or the area of 219.30 to 219.50. Uh, why is that? Yesterday, you can see that the stock reached that price. Um, first, you can take a look at NVIDIA and see that it had a huge upside move yesterday. It really moved higher. Beautiful daily, beautiful intraday. And at the end of the day, it was basing at around this price over here, anywhere between uh, 219.30 to 219.80. So around 219.50, that would be the average. And you can see that it based here for quite a long time. And also, if you take a look at the volume right here, you can see that the volume was relatively high. So a lot of people were buying, a lot of people were selling. Of course, you don't have a buyer without a seller. So it was basing there for quite a long time at uh, two nineteen, at around 219.50 and a lot of people were buying of course they were hoping that the price will continue moving higher it did not and today they opened up their charts and they saw it coming down and they were down like almost five points today now just imagine if you buy a stock and it comes down five points what would you do if the stock price gets back to your point of entry. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about you as a trader. I'm talking about you maybe as a swing trader, as an investor, or possibly as a trader, whatever. Anyway, most of the people at the point that the, po that the stock comes back to their target price will sell. Let's have a discussion about this right here below. What do you think you would do? Well, I just asked my trading room members and look at their, uh, at their answers. Most of the people, as you can see here, are saying they will sell. So when the stock is getting back to your entry price, the only thing you want to think about is, oh my God, I was down so much and finally it gets back to my price. Well, I don't want to hang on. I just had a very serious drop, five points. I just, you know what? I just prayed for the price to come back up. It is back up. That's it. I'm getting out of the trade. So most people will not sell as, the, as, as they lose money. Most people just wait until they come back to the break-even point. And once they get back to the break-even point, they will sell, which means we're going to have resistance right here at the 219.50. In fact, you can see that the resistance is kind of starting right now. It's the lower edge of this area. But my, my target still remains over 219. I must have over one point. I must have over one-to-one -one risk reward. What is your risk reward? Again, let's have a discussion right here below. I'm going to answer each and every question you have. So it's a good time to, to learn a little bit about risk reward. It's a very important topic. Uh, and, you know, if you have at least one to one risk reward, you can survive trading. Some people have one to two, one to three. What is your risk reward? Write it down here. And maybe if you want to write down why it's... Uh, one to one or one to two or one to three or more than that there's no right and wrong answer it has to do with the uh, systems that you apply as a trader so there's really no right or wrong but there are some implications to having a risk reward which is uh, more than one to one or just one to one personally i use one to one but that 
doesn't necessarily have to be you. Stock is slowly getting to my target. I'm fast forwarding it now so you can see what happened there. You see a small pullback and then it's coming back and look at exactly the area of resistance. It just came there and I'm about to sell, taking now my partial so sold 3,600 uh, shares and uh, left just 400 for the continued run, which I hope is going to happen. But I don't know. Again, we reached the resistance. We reached the point where yesterday's disappointed buyers, we call them the disappointed buyers, were selling because the stock came down today five points. So if you bought it yesterday at around this area of here, you're probably selling it right now because you're one of the disappointed buyers. Well, I hope that was um, educational and interesting for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, I will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. It really helps our channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading video and learn a little bit more about day trading. And there's a button here where you can subscribe. And if you do want to get notified about my future uploads, there's another bell notification here which you can click on. And uh, thank you again. Uh, don't forget the discussion right here below. And there's a lot of links there if you want to join us. So let's have a discussion and I'll see you in my next video. Bye traders.